Hi guys, I'm your host Ming Jun from Seripod Education. Today's topic is going to be how to set up development environment for JSP servlet in Windows. Windows version should not matter as long as it is above Windows XP. What we need in this specific setup are Eclipse IDE and Apache Tomcat. Eclipse is one of my favorite Java application IDEs. It's free, popular, and you can get lots of help from Eclipse community. Tomcat is a widely used servlet container. Basically, it can host JSP servlet applications, and that is all we care about for now. First, let's download Eclipse and Tomcat. Open up a browser and go to eclipse.org. Hit download. And make sure to download Eclipse IDE for Java E developers. My Windows machine is 64-bit. If yours is 32-bit, go ahead and download that. I'm going to choose this one. And then on the left, you will see a download button. Click that. I already had it, so I'm going to skip that. Then. Let's search Apache Tomcat. Ser search result shows 8.0, and that's what we need. Under the core node, we're going to choose 64 bit Windows zip file. I already had it, so I'm going to skip this one as well. Next, let's unzip the files I just downloaded. I put it on the desktop. Let's unzip the file to web application programming folder. Any folders will do. And then we do the same for Tomcat. Unzip the file to application server. The next thing I like to do is change the name of the Tomcat folder so that I can easily refer to it later. All right. And then we open up Eclipse and try it out. Please note that if you did not install Java or JDK properly, Eclipse won't open up and tell you that it needs Java to run. Since you are interested in setting up the environment, I will assume you know the basic Java and how to install it. Now let's choose a workspace. This is just a folder that contains all your projects. I'll make a new one. And make a new folder called Java Web Clips. Okay, and use this as a default. Click Workbench. Now let's set up Tomcat server for Eclipse. Go ahead and go to Servers tab, and there's no server available, so let's create a new one. Hit Apache, and pick Tomcat 8.0. Then this Tomcat installation directory is the directory we just put Tomcat in. Let's browse it. Remember, it's in application server. Tomcat. The JRE, I will use Workbench default. You can pick any other ones if you like. Next. The available project has nothing in it because we haven't created one. So let's just finish and create that later. 
Now let's create a dynamic Java web project. Go ahead, file, new, and dynamic web project. Project name is test. Default location. Target runtime is the Tomcat server we just created, we just configured. And then everything's default is fine. Next. And then next. Okay. Make sure to check this. Otherwise, you will manually create the web.xml later. This is essential. Now we have a proje web project and the server doesn't know it, so we need to add that to Tomcat server. Go ahead and hit right click and add and remove. Now the box has, a, has our new project. Click that and add, finish. Okay, now let's open up the browser and see what we got. Before that, we need to start Tomcat, of course. To see if it's successfully started, we can see that it's started and in the console tab, you will see that the server start up in a couple milliseconds. Then we'll go to browser and type localhost colon a080 because we are hosting our web page in uh, locally. So we use localhost and 8080 is a default port slash our project name and then hit enter. Oops, there's no resource available. Of course, we did not create a resource. Resource in this case is a web page. Let's open, let's create a web page. On the web content, we create new JSP file and change the name to index.jsp. And then next by default. All right, in body, we're gonna write something great. Save it and then go to web browser and refresh it. Okay, great, it works. If you want to stop the server, make sure to go to server tab, click stop, or click this stop. You never want to go to console tab and click terminate. Note that those two buttons are very similar. Don't do that. Go to servers and stop the server gracefully. It's all set. Now you can start to write Java web application with JSP and Servlet technology. Please write a comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, or if you just want to say hi. Thanks for watching.